Good morning, everyone. I want to welcome you to day 83 of our 90-day word invasion. The faithfulness and the grace of God that has helped us thus far has brought us to another wonderful day together. And I trust God that today, the word for today, the scripture for today, will make sense in certain areas of your life. The things God will want you and I to meditate on, to think on, to to continue to ponder on as the days go uh, from this morning up on through all through today i need you to take time to study to take time to meditate on this scripture the scripture for today is taken from the book of philippians chapter number four from verse eight philippians chapter number four from verse eight i'm reading the new king james version it reads and i quote it says finally brethren whatsoever things are true whatsoever things are noble Whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report. It says, if there's any virtue and if there's anything praiseworthy, it says, meditate on these things. I want to read that again. Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are noble, whatsoever things are just, Whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there is any virtue or if there is anything praiseworthy or worthy of praise, it says meditate on these things. Today, as you go through the day, in the, in the business you find yourself doing, in the ministry you find yourself in, in your family, in whatever you find yourself in, I want you to begin to meditate on the good side of everything. You know, we're in, the se we're in season three of positive declarations. And God, through the scripture, is telling us that the things that he wants us to meditate on as the day goes on is number one, whatever things are true. So anything that is false, take your mind off it. Don't dwell on any false thing or anything that is not relevant to the truth of God in your life. Because truth is not just a set of facts. Truth is a person. And the person of truth is Jesus. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So God wants you to meditate on Jesus. Wants you to meditate on the things about him. So that when you meet the person of the truth, the spirit of truth will be birthed in everything that you're doing. And then you will live a life of always being attracted to truth and attract people of truth to you in the name of Jesus. The second thing was whatever things are noble. You are a noble person because the Bible says he has made us kings and priests to him. That's a, those are noble callings. Those are callings that God has called you to be, to you and I too, so that we are noble. And I want you to understand that God wants you to enter and carry yourself well as a noble person with nobility, with character, with dignity, not with pride, but with dignity. In anything that you do, celebrate what you are doing. Do it with dignity. Whatsoever your hand finds to do, do it with all your heart. That's what he's saying. That you do it with the grace that God has given to you. Not one that will allow anything to subjugate you or to push you down or to weigh you down, but what you will carry you, what, what will make you carry yourself accurately well in everything that you're doing the second the third thing is whatsoever things are just in everything we do we must be equitable we must be fair don't ever allow any unjust scale to be around you don't ever allow anything that is not balanced or is not equitable to come into your life because the bible says a just and unjust weight is an abomination to the lord in everything that you do ensure that you are fair don't cheat anybody don't lie to anyone just because you want that contract or you want that job, don't lie. Tell the person the truth. Tell them how much it is and tell them what your profit margin is. God wants us to be just in everything that we do. The, third, the fourth area, it says whatsoever things are pure. God wants us to live a life of purity. The Bible says let your garment be white that your head will never lack oil. God wants us to walk in the realm of his grace and to walk in the realm of his anointing. That in everything that we do, men and women will see the purity of God. Because where there's purity, there's power. When you live a life of purity, there's power in everything that you do. So God wants us, the fourth thing is for us to trust him to be pure in all things. To be just in all things. And then he now says, whatsoever things are lovely whatsoever things are lovely i want you to understand that god wants you to show love to everyone around you love those that love you love those that hate you love everyone 
Because God is love. And everyone that loves is born of God and knows God. He that loves not, knows not God, for God is love. And then he says, whatsoever things are of good report, whatever report that you have received, at this particular point I sense in my heart that God is saying that there are people here who you have received a negative report. The Lord said, whose report shall you believe? We shall choose to believe the report of the Lord. In everything that you do, choose the report of the Lord over the report of men. Men might tell you that there's a falling away. Men might tell you that there's a recession. But we who know our God are strong, I will declare a progression in the lives of everyone around us in the name of Jesus. So, I won't share these six things with you. I want you to meditate on those six things. The first one I want you not to forget as you go through your day is number one, whatsoever things are noble or true. Remember, truth. Whatsoever things are noble, the second one. Whatsoever things are just, the third one. Whatsoever things are pure, the fourth one. Whatsoever things are lovely, the fifth one. And the sixth one, whatsoever things are of good report. He now said, if there's any virtue or anything praiseworthy in all those things, meditate on those things. So that your heart and your spirit can be connected to the things that God wants you to be connected to. If you allow your mind to be carried away by the things that are happening around you, there's a tendency for you to lose steam and for you to be burdened and for you to be suicidal. Nowadays, we are seeing a lot of people that are suicidal. It's because they are meditating on the negatives, not the positives. God wants us to meditate on these things. The things that are true, the things that are pure, the things that are just, the things that are of good report, the things that are lovely. You know, one of the lovely things you need to spend time with are your children, the people that love you, the places that are fascinating. You need to dwell on those things so that you, it will rejuvenate your mind and it will bring you to the place where you'll be able to say, it is not of him who wills or of him who runs, but it is of God that shows mercy. This day, I want you to understand that God loves you beyond measure, that God in everything that you're doing wants to be part of your life and wants you to meditate only on the things that God wants you to meditate on. Till I come your way again, all the rest of the day, please meditate on these things. And I trust that God will help you, will help me to get to that point where we'll only be meditating on the positives and not the negatives of our lives. The Lord bless you, the Lord keep you, the Lord cause His face to shine upon you. Until I come your way for the next episode, I trust God that God will release grace upon your life to get you to the place that in all things you will be able to say of a truth, I have chosen to meditate on the things that God wants me to meditate on. God bless you till I come your way again. Bye for now.